What is up, YouTube? I am back, I am back, I am Robbie Hollywood, aka the Michael Jordan of VHS, aka the Trolls Bitch, aka your guide to VHS, aka your friend, Robbie Hollywood. The Aussie VHS Fructor, I'm here, I'm here again for another show and tell, another show and tell, Let's make it quick, let's make this quick, let's get all hyped, let's get hyped. So I went to Paul Kennedy again, I went to Paul Kennedy again, uh, I went to Paul Kennedy back when I got those footy cards if you watch that one, back when I got those footy cards when it opened up and then I went to a few other stores. So we're going to do this and we're going to show you all these and then we're going to show the kitty and then we're going to go and then all that, okay? So you're ready for all that? Yep. So let's do this! Let's do it! Let's show you what I've, what I've got! Why am I wearing... Why am I wearing my dog shit day shirt? Was it a dog shit day? Oh. Was a bit of a dog shit day, but in the end, I came out on top. I'm pretty sure I did all right. So, um, I found these St. Kilda Saints uh, magazines. They were all 25 cents each, so I ended up paying $1.50 for all these. Um, all different years there. And um, so some Saints fan will want that. So I've marked that down for the kitty for $15 for all these uh, Saints books. I could probably get more, but um, yeah, I'll put $15 in the kitty for all these Saints uh, magazines, plus they'll pay their own postage and handling. Uh, plus I found for 25 cents uh, the football record. Now people do uh, chase the footy record. People do chase the footy records. Uh, St Kilda versus Geelong. This was the grand final 2009 where, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Saints lost. And um, people collect these. All right, I've got the one when we lost the grand final, uh, 2013. So people collect them and uh, put their tickets in it, put it in frame, whatever. Anyway, I should be able to get about 15 bucks for this. 15 bucks. Oh, I found these. I'm not going to put this in the uh, total that I spent, um, 50 cents. Someone didn't realise what they were fucking throwing away. But these are uh, uh, basketball and football card holders. So thank you very much. I'll uh, use them. Found these two puzzles. These are cool. And it says checked on there. It says checked. Um, so we've got uh, a Looney Tunes one, this is 1982 vintage, I don't like how they've sticky taped all around it, so what we're going to try and do is uh, use the hairdryer to get the sticky tape off without ripping the uh, cardboard box. So uh, that's complete, I uh, should get about 25 bucks for that, um, Looney Tunes one. And then I've got this Inspector Gadget uh, one. Uh, for $2 as well, and this should go for about $25, but I noticed something on this one that uh, has spun me out. now. I didn't do the greatest in school, but I can fucking spell. I'm pretty sure I can spell. I'm pretty sure Inspector is not E-U-R. Am I right or am I wrong? Is Inspector not E-U-R? I think they've spelled Inspector Gadget wrong on this. Even on the side there. Inspector. Inspector. Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget. So I don't know. Have they spelt Inspector wrong, or am I wrong? Inspector Gadget. Anyway, I should get about 25 bucks for that, but if that's a fuck up, if that's a fuck up, I might get more. So, anyway, that's vintage, that's cool. Alright, I found this uh, for $3. Now, uh, these sell alright. Um, this is a Rangers football scarf, um, and it's an official one. Official, uh, official Rangers. Is the Rangers... Are they... Are they Scottish? Scottish? I'm not sure. I think it's a, uh, like Glasgow Rangers or something. Let's have a look. All right, wherever the Rangers are from, I don't fucking know football. I don't know uh, soccer. So anyway, uh, I should get about 25 bucks for that and that cost me $3. This Mets hat was a uh, dollar. It's a little bit dirty. I don't buy hats. I don't like getting hats. It's very dirty. Anyone that buys used hats is fucking disgusting. Imagine all the fucking nits and shit you get on your head from some other prick. Uh, but anyway, this was actually in pretty good nick and um, about 25 bucks I uh, saw I can get this, but I haven't seen any like this, uh, so this might be a bit of a rare one. So we'll give this one a clean up and try and get the uh, dirty head stains off, but uh, that Mets hat, uh, $1 into about 25 bucks, should be good. I've uh, got all these fucking inks, these inks, go and follow two Aussie thrifters, Brad and Jazz, 
and uh, click on their uh, live they had a few weeks ago about ink and they will teach you everything about ink. I think I might have brought ones that they didn't show, but it doesn't matter. I looked these ones up and put lotting these five together, they're 50 cents each, $2.50 I paid, and get 25 bucks plus postage for that. So I'm happy with those, those inks there. Uh, but definitely check out down below. I'll put the uh, link in for that video if you want to learn about ink. Uh, you saw me pick this up uh, for $3. This is a DVD rewritable 10 pack, brand new and sealed. Uh, should get about $25 for this. Um, which is pretty sweet, maybe $20, but I'm thinking $25, uh, pretty fucking cool. So, um, three bucks into that. And people still want blank media, they still want blank media, so. Alright, I'll get through these last lot pretty quick. I found this, uh, surfing DVD, surfing DVDs do good, I'll get, uh, 10 bucks for that. Star Wars Connect on Xbox 360, I should get about $15, maybe even 20 but I'll put it for $15 and undercut every motherfucker. Uh, we got this Rush Connect from Xbox 360, another $15, could get about 20 but I am going to put it for 15 A uh, Fantastic Four on PlayStation 2, uh, once again, all of these, uh, DVDs and games cost me $1, by the way. Uh, but they, uh, I only probably get about 10 bucks for this one, unfortunately, but and it'll be uh, take a while to sell. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, um, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, uh, should get about 10 bucks for that as well, maybe 15, but uh, probably only 10 bucks for that one. Star Wars Battlefront, I'll get $15 for, easy every day of the week. It's got its manual, so happy day. Uh, all of these have their manuals, and I'm stoked I got these for a buck. Uh, but uh, yeah, 15 bucks right there. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, or whatever the fuck you call this one. Ratchet and Plunk, Plank, Clank. Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. Filthy. Uh, yeah, that was one dollar as well. And that'll get me back 10 bucks. That'll get me 10 bucks. Uh, another SpongeBob right there. Um, that will get me 10 dollars every day of the week. Uh, this Celebrity Sports Showdown, unfortunately, for Wii. Uh, people are selling it for five bucks, the bastards. But once all those five dollar idiots have sold theirs, uh, mine will sell for ten bucks. So, because uh, other people have got it for fifteen and twenty as well, but there's a few with five dollars. So, what are people thinking? Why do they want to fucking? What? Why do they? Why do they want to undercut themselves? They're not just undercutting the people that have got it for fifteen dollars and twenty dollars. They're fucking bending themselves over and undercutting themselves. And last but not least, this was a bingo item. This was a bingo item. I'd already sold this one. Uh, so. This one, I can knock off my bingo list. Family game show for Wii. Oh fuck, did I even check if it's in there? Cause then I can't fucking clock it off my list. <laughs> it's in there, and the manual's in there. All right, so I can sell that for 10 bucks again. Easy, easy, easy. One last thing, and then we'll show the kitty. I was standing at the counter, and I was looking and looking while I was waiting to pay, and $15 on the shelf I saw, and I took a risk. This video camera. $15 for this, this is a uh, Canon. Canon video camera, this was uh, made back in, uh, I think it was 2010 or 2011. But the cool thing about this is, it does have everything in the box, which is brilliant. So people are selling this without the box and it's selling for about $50. Now I've got the manual, I've got, uh, I've got his name and address. <laughs> uh, I've got the manual, I've got the discs. Oh shit me. I've got the cords that haven't even been unwrapped. I haven't even been unwrapped, and this is a really, really nice Canon, really, really nice Canon video camera. So I'll charge this sucker up. I'll charge this sucker up and make sure it does work. Um, I'm pretty sure it would be because it's got everything in there. This is a really, really nice video camera. Um, I'll probably still only get a um, hundred bucks for it. Um, I'm going to put in the kitty. I could get more. I could get more. Um, I'm going to put in the kitty eighty dollars because I'll probably take offers, so $15 into $80, who cares? Um, but, that's, that's wicked, that's, that's so good. I was so happy I found that at the end. So, happy with that, very happy with that. And that, that turned a shitty day, a dog shit day into a good day. No Kamal records, I couldn't find any Kamal records for $1, so no Kamal records this week to go into my Kamal collection. So I spent $40.25, let's bring him up, let's bring up the kitty, uh, bring him up. Alright kitty, Woo. kitty, kitty you're looking fine, I'm gonna talk to you and you're gonna give me some money kitty, how much money kitty are you gonna give me, let me talk to me kitty, talk to me. Uh, 
Seventy-five dollars. Four fees, four taxes, four blah blah blah. All that mumbo jumbo shit. Everyone pays for their own postage. Three hundred seventy-five dollars. Forty dollars and twenty-five cents. Remember, everything takes time to sell. Everything takes time to sell. Everything doesn't sell like that. But sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. Now, fuck off, kitty. It was a dog shit day. It was a dog shit day. I did kind of have fun, but I didn't get to have McDonald's afterwards. So fuck off. Didn't get to have fucking Maccas. So that's it. That's it, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for watching. That was a pretty damn good uh, score I got there as well. I would have liked it to have been more, but it wasn't. So it is what it is. You live with it. And um, just remember, every time you go thrifting, you're not going to get the biggest fucking haul and the biggest amount of money. And no matter if other people say they do and all that, don't worry about other people. Worry about yourself. So... Click, like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. It is your life. I cannot tell you what to do. But follow your Australian YouTube community and on YouTube and uh, you'll get some great content. And you'll get some great information about uh, heaps of other stuff. I'm going to drop um, two Aussie thrifters uh, link down the bottom of the video of the ink. Um, so uh, they helped me out with the ink. So I'm going to put their video with the ink there. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next video, whatever it may be. It could be a live, could be one of these. I don't know. But I'm going to go relax and listen to some Kamal. Because I love my Kamal collection. Like it's like like it's like my child. It's my child, my Kamal collection. Goodbye everyone. Bye!